Today is more of a cardio intensive workout. So I did 10 sets of one on deadlifts, supersetted with sled sprints. And then we moved on to doing a circuit of squat, bench, and pull ups with 225, 135, and body weight for 10 to 1. So 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 9 all the way down to 1, 1, 1. And then we supersetted push presses with side raises and then lat pull down. So pretty much a full body workout with very little rest to keep the heart rate up. Doing sled work after pulling 315 is really difficult because you're trying to pull 315 as hard, as fast, but with as best form as you can. And then sled is another form of sprinting. So it's kind of supersetting two types of sprints. But workouts like that really motivate me because I really want to get in better athletic shape. So being able to explode something off the floor and then run as fast as I can pulling weight behind me, I can easily see how that would adapt to playing basketball or football or wrestling. The cut's going really good. All last week, I was able to hit all of my macros, finish all of my workouts, and push myself really hard. My weight's at 213 right now. I'm down two pounds since week one, where I was 215. I feel really good, actually. My macros are still relatively high at 2,700. I haven't really had to adjust them yet, and I'm already losing weight, so it's just the bloat is coming off, and with the more intense workouts, I'm just burning more calories. So, this motherfucker, Cero, for the squat, bench, and pull-up circuit, I was supposed to do 135, 135, and body weight. But Sarah was like, dude, you can't be squatting the same as you bench. And my cardio sucks. So even though it's the same weight, when you're squatting, it's a full body movement. I get tired really, really fast. But because I got my good teammate cheering me on, and he's also my macro coach, he was like, you're gonna burn more calories this way. I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Plus, it's just a little bit more weight and a little bit more volume, so it's never gonna hurt to burn more calories. However, the workout did suck way more. I planned to finish the workout in 15 minutes. We ended up doing it for 25 minutes. This is one of the hardest workouts I have done in a long time because I've been so focused on powerlifting that cardio hasn't really been a main focus. But this is exactly what I need. You know, like in any high school sport, the first two weeks are always hell week. You kind of just shock your body, shock your mind, and get yourself ready for what's to come. And this is exactly what I need. And even though I was extremely tired throughout the entire workout, my motivation is sky high, and I can't wait to take on the next 10 weeks of workouts.